Dwayne Ross from Servants United with daily devotions from Christ in our home. Our scripture for Monday, July 8th, is found in Ezekiel, the second chapter, verse 8, through the third chapter, verse 11. But you, mortal, hear what I say to you. Do not be rebellious like that rebellious house. Open your mouth and eat what I give you. I looked, and a hand was stretched out to me, and a written scroll was in it. He spread it before me. It had writing up on the front and on the back, and written on it were words of lamentation and mourning and woe. He said to me, O mortal, eat what is offered to you. Eat this scroll and go speak to the house of Israel. So I opened my mouth and he gave me the scroll to eat. He said to me, Mortal, eat this scroll that I give you and fill your stomach with it. Then I ate it, and in my mouth it was as sweet as honey. He said to me, Mortal, go to the house of Israel and speak my very words to them. For you, you are not sent to a people of obscure speech and difficult language, but to the house of Israel. Not too many people of obscure speech and difficult language, whose words you cannot understand. Surely if I sent you to them, they would listen to you. But the house of Israel will not listen to you. For they are not willing to listen to me, because all of the house of Israel have a hard forehead and a stubborn heart. See, I have made your face hard against their faces, and your forehead hard against their foreheads. Like the hardest stone, harder than flint. I have made your forehead. Do not fear them or be dismayed at their looks, for they are a rebellious house. He said to me, Mortal, all my words that I shall speak to you receive in your heart and hear with your ears. Then go to the exiles, to your people, and speak to them. Say to them, Thus says the Lord God, whether they hear or refuse to hear. You are what you read and eat. Written on the scroll were words of lamentation and mourning and woe. The second chapter, verse 10. When I was in my 20s, my family and friends rightly made fun of me for being sucked into seriously depressing novels. You are what you read, they'd say. I tried lighter fare on occasion, but most often I was, a, I was the one sitting poolside reading The Bleak House. I grew up believing the, there were great books that must be read, and that those books were full of heartbreak. War and peace, remembering of things past, remains of the day. You get the idea. If I spent my free time dwelling on human failings, it was bound to pull me down, right? Yet I found it satisfying to taste sadness without having to go through it myself. But what about Ezekiel, who eats a scroll covered in words of woe? He reports, in my mouth it was as sweet as honey. Verse 3, excuse me, chapter 3, verse 3. He wasn't exempt from Israel's suffering, but he knew that God's people would rise up again from the bones, chapter 37. He knew that the narrative arc of God's story bends for all towards wholeness and restoration. Our prayer. God of grace, you are with us at all times, in our heartbreaks and hallelujahs. Amen. Please join me in the Lord's Prayer. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen.